All right, so this isn't my typical video. I know, typically I review FDM printers and lasers, and I've never had a resin printer on my channel before, and let me tell you why. So typically, resin printing has been a pain in the you know what for me. With all the mess that it creates, and then having to always constantly level the bed, and then pouring resin from the vat, having to deal with filters and funnels, getting it back into the bottle, it tips over, and then yeah, everybody's having a bad day. So yeah, I was a little skeptical when PyoCreate reached out to send me the new Hallett X1. To be honest, I didn't want anything to do with it, but I had seen this printer before at Rapid TCT up in Detroit at Creati's 11th anniversary, and I had a chance to really look at it. They told me a lot about the features of the machine, and that is probably the only reason I agreed to accept it. And now that I've had the machine for a little bit, I gotta tell you, I'm back in the resin printing game, and it might be for good. And it's mostly due to the features that PyoCreate has put in this machine. So let's go over those features real quick and let me tell you why I might be back in the game. So I knew before I would get back into resin printing, there had to be a printer to come out that had a lot of boxes checked. And honestly, it was just a matter of time before a company finally came out with a printer that had enough of those boxes checked that would convince me to get back into resin printing. So one of those boxes has always been build size for me. Now I know there's resin printers out there that are probably bigger than this one, but they come with the price tag. Now the Hallett X1 has a build volume of 211 by 118 by 200 on the Z. And speaking of Z, that's where this printer kind of stands out from the rest. It has a dual Z axis that lifts the vat and the actual build plate doesn't go up and down like your standard printer. So what's the benefit in that? Well, honestly, I haven't seen a major benefit, but maybe that's how they achieved the auto leveling feature with the X1. That's right, it has auto leveling and you can literally take this thing out of the box, run the test print on there, and you don't have to do anything. I haven't leveled the machine since I've had it. It handles all of that for you. And that was one of the biggest boxes that I had that had to be checked in the X1 has checked that. Now I said one of the biggest, it's not the biggest box. The biggest issue that I had was the mess, the cleanup, pouring in the resin, having to pull out the vat and carefully walk it over to your cup and dump it in, put a filter in the cup. I mean, all of that was, yeah, it was just too much for me. I wasn't willing to really do all of that because honestly, at the end of the day, I have my FDM printers. I don't need a resin printer. But if it's gonna be easy to use, then yeah, I'll get it. But the X1 has solved all of that. And no, it's not the first resin printer on the market to have an AFU, which is the auto feed unit that feeds resin from a central station into the printer and sucks it back out. But it definitely eliminated all the mess you get with transferring resin from the vat back to the bottle. So this is the AFU unit. It's the automatic feed unit for the X1. It has a built-in scale that the resin bottle sits on that constantly monitors your your resin levels. Now it also has a built-in inline heater so it can heat up your resin so you don't have to worry about if your room's at a certain temp or during winter time keeping a room at a set temp or whatever. This thing's going to keep it at the optimal temperature and you can actually play with that in the settings in the printer. Now, although the AFU doesn't come with the printer, if you buy the combo, you will get the AFU. But if you just want to buy the printer and get the AFU later, the AFU is only $89. It's normally $129. Right now, it's $89. And I highly recommend getting the AFU. It just makes resin printing so much easier. Hey, real quick, let me tell you about the giveaway that we're doing in this video. We're giving away an eBus Easy Dry filament dryer. And all you have to do to enter is go ahead and subscribe, hit the like button on this video, and then go to the description of the video and then go on over to our Discord and become a member. It's free to do, and that's where we'll be holding all of our giveaways from now on. Oh, and speaking of dryers, we're working on a CFS dryer attachment right now. It's in the work, so go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss out on that. Now back to the video. But one thing that the X1 does come with is one of these. And let me tell you, you're never gonna need this. And let me tell you why. So with the X1, it comes with a new build plate design and it is absolutely amazing. It has a handle on each side and all you do is simply twist the build plate and it pops off your prints for you. And I mean, they come off phenomenally. So you don't have to worry about using one of these and scratching your build plate or fighting with it. 
those days are over. And that is another box that the X1 checked for me because I despise doing that with one of these. I don't know why. And on top of all that, it has a 92 zone intelligent exposure system and a 16K LCD. So you're gonna get those really crisp 3D models. In fact, take a look at this guy. He was printed on the X1 and this guy is absolutely crisp. I mean, the detail on this thing is it's just it's just amazing i'm not used to seeing this detail because i print with fdm all the time so it's so refreshing to see something like this come off of a printer here in my studio now another really cool thing about resin printing is it doesn't matter how much stuff you put on the build plate it goes based on layers so let's say these right here were 100 layers from beginning to end it doesn't matter if you put one or 50 on there the print's going to take the same amount of time so you might as well fill it up now it might vary a little bit, but honestly, I had these on there at first, which is like 15 of these little parts and the build plate was like halfway filled up. So then I went ahead and added these, which they're smaller than that. So it didn't change the layer whatsoever. And guess how much my print time changed? Yeah, you got it, zero. So I printed all of this in 50 minutes and I just filled up the build plate. So that's one thing I do love about resin printing. Now, of course, one thing that's going to change is the amount of resin that you use. But hey, that's a given. Now, another box that the X1 actually checked for me was its VAT design. So the X1 has a quick release VAT design. And if you've seen other resin printers, you may be familiar with having to take out 900 screws to be able to get it off. But with the X1, you simply just swipe over that handle, pull this handle over, and then lift out the vat. It is very simple. And if you don't get the AFU unit, the vat has a pour spout on one corner. So for you guys who are gonna be pouring back into the bottle and not utilizing the AFU, then they kind of thought of you as well. Now there is one feature on the X1 that I just haven't figured out yet. It has camera settings, it has time-lapse function, and I'm being told that you can plug in a USB camera. Now I tried with my phone, it didn't work. I tried with the GoPro and an Insta360, and I didn't get video from any of those, but that's not to say that that doesn't work. I don't have just like a webcam that's strictly made for USB, and that might be what it needs, I'm not sure. I'm gonna go buy one and see if that works, but it does have camera function built into the LCD, so it's definitely possible. So maybe you've never even heard of PyoCreate and you think they're new in the game. Well, they're not because they're actually a spinoff company from Creality. So they're actually taking over all of the Hallett models and they'll be selling the Hallett models versus Creality. That's what I've been told. Now, when they're gonna implement that, I really don't know. So Pio Create, and they didn't just start making 3D printers. They actually make industrial 3D printers for dentists and commercial grade printers. And now with them taking over the Hallett models, they'll be servicing the consumer side as well a lot more. So let's talk about price. Now on the website, it's over 600 bucks, but right now it's on sale for 599 and there's a promo code in the description for 30 bucks off if you plan to get it. I mean, 30 bucks isn't a ton, but if you're gonna get it anyways, you might as well save the 30, right? That'll almost pay for the AFU if it's still on sale when you go to buy the printer. Now, if you're new to resin printing and you're doing your homework and this is a review that you came across, let me tell you this, to make your life a ton easier, if you're gonna get this printer or any other resin printer, get a cure and wash station. Creality has one, other companies have them. They're all over the market. I happen to have the Creality version because that's what they sent with this combo and it's a lifesaver. You fill it up with alcohol, it has a wireless induction fan in there that works with magnets and induction basically. And you just sit the bat on top of the bottom plate and then you hit start and the fan starts no wires, no anything. It's, a, it's really great to get all that excess resin off of your model before you cure it. And it also doubles as the cure station as well. You simply remove the vat and then put the spin plate on there. It actually attaches as a gear driven plate and then you put your model on top of that. You put the housing back on there and then you hit cure and then you hit start and then you cure your print. Now the resin printers differ from the FDM printer in the slicer that they use. They use Chitu box. That's the standard slicer for most resin printers, unless they have a standalone. But with this printer, it actually came with three months free of Cheeto Box Pro. So I don't know how long that's gonna last, but if you go buy one, you'll get three months free of Cheeto Box and you can test out the Pro features. Now, do you need the Pro features to use it? No, you can use the free version and you'll be just fine. 
So what are my final thoughts on the X1? Well, I absolutely love it. From the newly designed quick release build plate, a true no leveling system, the auto feed unit, not messing with all the resin spilling and all of that junk. I am truly back in the resin printing game and it's because of the X1. So yeah, I really enjoy the X1. I can't wait to do some more stuff with it. So keep an eye out on the channel for those videos. I'll probably put out some shorts of some stuff that I made. Oh, and if you made it this far, you might as well subscribe and hit the like button because that helps too. And if you really want to be an overachiever, you can go join our Discord server. It's growing every single day. There's a ton of knowledge in that Discord server and there's no attitudes. There's no complaints for asking simple questions. We don't allow that whatsoever. You can come on in and ask whatever you want and rub elbows with people with years and years of experience. And I'm in the chat pretty much almost every day. So maybe we'll see you there. So that's all I have for you guys for this video. Until next time, stay ready to 3D print.